so our example three is concerning about concerns with Murphy efficiency based on the liquid. In the example two, we calculated for the vapor, but now we are gonna calculate for the liquid. So our example is a benzene toluene mix containing 60 mol percent benzene is to be separated in multiple steps. In the distillate, 90 mol percent benzene is coming out in the bottom stream. In the bottom stream, there is 5 mol percent benzene. Feed is 20% saturated liquid. So in this uh, example, you need to fully understand how the feed quality is going in. So basically, if this is saturated liquid, then we need to basically vaporize the 20% of the feed. So Q is equal to 0 0.20. So that means 80% is saturated vapor. So reflux ratio is given, it's 2 and Murphy efficiency based on the liquid is 60%. What is the required number of theoretical stages? So theoretical stage means whatever you actually count. So for Murphy efficiency based on the liquid, we write EML efficiency Murphy for the liquid equals to 0 0.6. So for the liquid, we have a little bit of different, uh, we use a different method than the vapor. So in our terms we have to write XF is equal to 0 0.6 feed, which is the benzene mole fraction, and the distal is 0 0.9, XW is 0 0.05. So this is our graph. Our first step is to draw the lines until the diagonal. So XD XD is 0 0.9, XW is 0. Point, no, XF is 0 0.6 actually. This is wrong. And XW is 0 0.05, which is here. So we have to draw like so. So now we need to draw our top operating line. Our top operating line is our top operating line equation is y equals to r over r plus 1 x plus xd r plus 1. So r is given. So this is the y intercept and our dxd is 0 0.9, r is 2, so it will be 0 0.3. So let's see where is 0 0.3, it's here. And we have to connect with the y-intercept. Okay, now let's find the q-line. Q line equation is y equals to q over q minus 1 times x minus xf over x minus 1. So this is our y intercept for q line. So q is given 0 0.2, xf is also given, xf is 0 0.6. So 6 over 8 is 0 0.75. So let's draw our Q line. Since the Q line Y intercept is 0 0.75, we go from X, F, 0 0.6 until the diagonal line. And we have this intercept, so we need to connect these two dots. So this is our Q line, and this is our top operating line. So bottom operating line is quite easy, since we know where to connect it. So 
here we have our operating lines. Now we are ready to draw our stages. So um, in EML, efficiency for Murphy for the liquid component, we do something like this. When we draw our stages, we draw horizontally and then we cut at the 60%. Sorry. We draw horizontally and go down at the 60%. We draw horizontally and go down at the 60%. Draw horizontally and go down at the 60%. So let's do that. We start from the top operating line. And this means this is 100%. So let's see how many centimeters, 1.5. So 1.5 times 0 0.6 is 0 0.9. So at 0 0.9, we go down. around here. And we do this until we reach XW. So how many per... this is 1.8. So 1.8 times 0 0.6 is equal to 1.08. So 1.08 is around here so we go down around here so we do this until we reach so we can do this around approximately So the number of stages that we have when the mercury efficiency is low, we, we have like um, more stages than if we do not have any, we have one, like efficiency is perfect, then we have less stages, but if the efficiency is low, then we have more stages. So now I have reached the XW, so I need to count all the stages. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. I have 14 theoretical stages.